but almost a thousand Nobel Prizes have been given. And of those, only 58 have gone to women. Good grief. That's my fact. Um, yeah, I mean, I scrolled uh, the list in various categories, and uh, it is something I did notice. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Peterson will say it's because of the contraceptive. You know, there wasn't contraceptive back then. Jordan Peterson can eat my dick. (laughs) (laughs) Jordan Peterson fan. (laughs) He might, as long as he's got a contraceptive over it. Um, Honestly, honestly, Jordan Peterson. No, Jordan Peterson will eat my dick because he only eats meat, apparently, and then he gets incredibly sick and goes and does his disorder. Anyway, I'm not even going to talk about Jordan Peterson. Fuck that guy. Right, we're on on a much more interesting... Yeah, yeah, we're on much more interesting people than Jordan fucking Peterson. 58 of the 1,000 and something... We're women. Um, no, no, it's not 1,000 or something. It's almost 1,000. Is it almost 1,000? Yeah, it's almost 1,000. 1,901 and, what, five categories. So, yeah, yeah. that's it's almost 1,000 and 50, only 58 of them are women. Man, it actually um, it sounds – that sounds low. I, I was hoping it would be 10%. But, no, I, th- I think, you know, those traditional – it was traditionally physics, chemistry. Okay, then it became medicine and stuff like that. Uh, literature, I think, was maybe an add-on. Um, there were a couple of add-ons. Economics was an add-on. Maybe literature was always there, medicine always there, physics, chemistry, and physiology for some weird reason. Always that medicine. But but because even, you know, in the first half of the last century, it's been a very um, man's world. So literature has helped things and all all categories have been helped since then in terms of equality for women. But I'll say no, 58's right. I'll say you're telling the truth. You're horrifying. Yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, horrifying. Come on, ladies. Come on. <laughs> Come get on. Get in there. Put more effort in, chicks. You know I mean? Get in the labs <laughs> and stop. No, man, but you know that it's actually entirely, entirely down to the misogyny of the of the committee the, really? that picks these things. Yeah, it's not even that women are. Because there, there's many examples of women who, like, Landed up com- like contributing to to big discoveries that were left off the list. Oh. It's many women who who actually came up with discoveries or that were critical in the the advancement of a, a discovery that then gets left off the list. And I've just got a couple that like Jocelyn Bell Burnell. She discovered pulsars, you know, which are obviously like collapsed stars which don't have enough gravity to turn into black holes. So then they become these kind of spinning. Like I suppose, uh, light emitting, radio emitting, kind of uh, yeah, it was wow. supernovas. And she discovered them. That's amazing. Yeah, and uh, she she discovered them on her supervisor Anthony Hewish's telescope, which she had helped to assemble. And then uh, Hewish Hewish went on to win the Nobel Prize for physics for his decisive role oh. in the discovery of pulsars. And then she was not included in that. And and I don't think he, he talked about it because, you know, I think you've got to split the prize money if you if you split the prize. So it's like some aspects of the T V industry. You pitch a show to the broadcaster, <laughs> they own the concept. But it was your idea. And right? then if they sell it overseas, which doesn't happen much yeah. anymore. But then you don't get Jack because they own it because they have paid for it. But it was your idea. But that sounds like what happened yeah. to Mrs. Spinning Star Lady. <laughs> Mrs. Spinning. Jocelyn Bell Burnell. You see now what a misogynistic thing that was. There's No, you, you can't remember everything. And then there's it's Esther Lederberg. Especially not uh, after a 10% of Belgian. <laughs> uh, Esther Lederberg was a pioneer in bacterial genetics and, and immunology who um, did a lot of kind of studies in antibiotic resistance. And her husband, Joshua Lederberg, the molecular biologist, won the Nobel Prize and her name was excluded off of that uh, she wasn't even mentioned in the award or in the receiving of it you know so there's there's all these kind of horrifying stories and I know there's there's another one that uh, that that I haven't uh, haven't written down specifically but there's a there, there's literally a product where where it's named after the two a molecular product that's named after the two inventors and the male one <laughs> got the Nobel Prize and the female one got left off the list. So so it's yeah, I mean and that's that's Jeez, just a couple, man. yeah. There's there's a whole there's a whole lot of them. But hopefully, hopefully now the ladies will put more fucking effort in, in the lab and make sure that they don't share their stuff <laughs> with any men. You know, never share your stuff with any men if you're if you're a woman in 
Mm. You know, at least the thing is, no man got shot next to Malala Yousafzai, or she would she would be like excluded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the bus driver, the bus driver who got shot in the same bus. Uh, he he's the one that that we get the thing. But yeah, shame. 